Hi, this is Bill Martino, and this is Library Confidential. Hi, I'm Bill Martino, Library Director here at the Clark County Public Library, and I wanted to introduce all of you to Leopold the Leopard here. And as you can see, we are both practicing social distancing. The children are young enough that they do not need masks, and uh, the koala also, uh, we were told uh, by Dr. Fauci that he did not need a mask either, so we are fine with that. A uh, couple questions. I know a lot of people wonder why you, Leopold, a leopard, are here in Clark County, being that I do not believe you are indigenous to the region. So, would you maybe care to share, and, and you may hear some noises in the background because this is an active library. We appreciate you being here. Maybe you could spill some of why you are actually here. So, Leopold? Sure, thanks for that introduction, Bill. Well, as you may know, leopards live out in the wilderness and in the wild. And as a leopard, I've traveled all over the world seeing different places and different people. And on my travels, I ended up here in Springfield and liked it so much with friendly people and places to go and things to see. I decided what better place to stay than here and what better place than a library where I can read stories about people from all over, learn about different things, all kinds of stuff. So it's the perfect spot for me to stay and hopefully you'll come see me and say hello. Now, do you stay in touch with any of your uh, friends, relatives from uh, whatever place of origin you came from? And speaking of which, where did you come from? Well, I would say that I came from the part of Southern Africa that's known for other leopards like me. Um, I do stay in touch with my family. I have lots of aunts, uncles, and cousins that still live in that region of the world. And I can communicate with them not only via mail, but using a lot of um, technology as well. And we have a lot of that, what's kind of neat, which I like about the library, there's a lot of that here that I can use to keep in touch with family and friends also, or learn different things and share that information with them. Now you are a male leopard, if I'm not mistaken, but yet you seem to have a female voice. How would you explain that? That's correct. Well, my voice box and vocal cords are adjusting to the colder temperatures here in Ohio. So it's made my voice a little bit higher than it normally would be. Makes sense. And who are your friends here? My friends here are Benjamin and Anna. Yes. And the koala is Kirby. 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 And Kirby is probably not native to Africa. That's correct. But you might find some koalas in Australia. So you can come learn about their habitat, what they eat, where they live, and all of that good stuff here at the library, or even checking out our resources online. So Mr. Koala here, Kirby, also, I'm assuming, came from afar, uh, found the garden spot that is Springfield, and decided to put down roots. Correct, just like I did. Okay, okay. Do you like it here? I do very much. Everyone's so friendly. The people that work at the library are awesome. I like going around Springfield and enjoying all the different things that we have. So, so you actually do get up from time to time? Occasionally, yes. Yeah. Okay. I know there have been sightings around town, For but sure. I just wasn't sure. Now, you're not light. How much would you estimate that you weigh? I would say about 300 pounds. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. So, if I'm clear on this, you came from Africa. Your friend, the koala, Kirby here, came from Australia. These two are locals? 
Correct. The children are from the area, yes. They're Springfieldians? Yes. Springfieldites? Okay. Any desire to return to Africa? Well, maybe to travel at some point, but I, I like where I am here in Springfield, so I can't see that changing any time in the future. Okay. So you're used to the snow. The COVID yeah. obviously is affected not only here, but I'm sure your friends and All family over. are All over, for sure. Africa. Yeah, and hopefully my voice will get back to its normal tone. Sure. Once I get used to the cold temperatures. Yeah, I noticed sometimes I have problems too when it gets cold out, so I, I know exactly what you're talking about. Well, I do want to say that you're a welcome addition to the Clark County Library family. I know the kids really love you, and obviously I know you already have your small extended family, but do you have any parting words maybe for folks out there uh, about what being here means to you? Well, I just would like to say I really do love seeing people come in the library, and certainly when they take their picture with me, I think that's terrific. I love seeing the children come in and participate in story times and the different things when we're open for that thing. Right now I know that you all are doing things online, but that's great too. Um, I would just encourage people to use the library system and all of the different resources that we have, whether that's digital or in person when we get back to that point. And your lack of any type of facial movement whatsoever, is that another part of being from Africa or is that? That actually also has to do with the cold. Okay. Um, it's made the, the muscles in my face a little bit tight, so sure. it's harder, you maybe can't see it with the mask on too. But you are very aware of your surroundings. So Correct, right. yes. Okay. Totally aware. Well, Leopold, we do, we're very happy to have you here. And uh, obviously, <laughs> I don't know, I'm just speechless that I didn't know you talked, to be honest, until just now. A lot of people told. don't. Yeah. So, yes, yeah, it's, it's good to talk with you too, Bill. All right. Well, hey, thanks, and thanks for watching, and uh, go Leopards.